Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well and having a lovely, lovely day. So for today's video, I am finally sitting down to film my movie night Q&A. So if you don't follow me over on my vlogging channel, you might not be aware that um, I actually moved out a couple of weeks ago now. Um, so as I'm filming this, I think I've been in my new flat for about three weeks but as you're probably watching this I've probably been moved out for about a month now so I thought it would just be a good idea to just sit down and answer all of your questions to do with moving out in this video um, so let's just get started and I hope you enjoy so as always I ask you guys over on Instagram for all of these questions so if you do want to get involved in future Q&A's and videos like this then make sure you follow me over on Instagram so the first question is, how did you know that you were ready to move out? So when I announced that I was moving out in um, one of my vlogs, I did say to you guys, like, I just feel ready to move out. It sounds really cliche, but you just know when the time is right. Um, for so long, I um, was, you know, focused on other things like saving to travel and stuff like that and saving for my car and then once I bought my car, which was almost two years ago, I said to myself, I'm going to save to buy a house, um, which we'll talk about later on in this video. But I'd say for like the first year and a half that I was um, saving to move out, there wasn't a point where I was like, yes, like this is the time that I want to move out. I'm so ready. I was just really content just saving. Um, and then I don't know what it is, but like the last half a year, I'd say, um, I just felt like, okay, I actually want to start looking for places now because I just feel ready. Um, I just felt so excited about moving out. I just felt like I was so looking forward to just having my own space. And I just want to emphasize, like, I absolutely loved staying at home with my parents. Like, there was nothing wrong with that. I just want to emphasize that. I enjoyed every moment of living with them. Um, and it wasn't like there was something that happened that made me want to move out. Um, because I know I got some questions about that. Literally, all it was was that I just felt ready to take that next step in my life. Yeah, I was getting questions like, was there a conflict, like, within your household that made you feel like you had to rush and move out? Or there was like questions like, are you moving out because uh, you couldn't handle having a baby in the house? And I just want to emphasize that none of those things are true. Um, and then another question which ties into that is, why did you move out so suddenly? So I think what this comes down to is, again, you guys only just seen a tiny little snippet of my life um, because I never realized that to you guys, it literally looks like one day I just decided I'm moving out. It really wasn't like that at all. Like I say, I've been saving for the last two years with the intention to buy, um, but we'll get onto that later, like I said. And then, like I already said, the last six months, I'd say, I just have felt like I have been ready to move out. So it wasn't a rush decision whatsoever. I was saving for a good few years and, you know, I've been looking for the last, I, I wanna say, I would say like six months I've been looking, but like actual seriously, like with the intention to move out, I'd say like the last four months. So it definitely wasn't rushed. There wasn't really anything to film in that sort of process. It was just a case of me kind of looking most days on websites like Zoopla um, and Rightmove to see if there was any um, rental properties that I liked. So I guess that because I didn't really film any of that just because you know there's nothing to film I was just looking on websites then to you guys it probably looks like I just made a rush decision and just was like oh I'm moving out when really you know it's been um sort of brewing for the last six months <laughs> the most popular question I've been asked is why are you renting and why didn't you buy so I can understand why a lot of people are asking this question um, because whenever I have spoken about moving out I have always spoke about how I am saving um, for a deposit to actually buy a house and when I first thought about moving out that was definitely what was in my mind. I was so adamant that I was gonna buy a house, I was saving for a deposit, you know, I didn't really want to rent because I thought it was a waste of money. So there's quite a few reasons why I ended up deciding on renting. I just don't know where to start. <laughs> I don't really know how to explain it. I just feel like I want to buy one house 
in my life and that be my forever home. You know, if I um, was planning on, you know, not building a family or whatever, fair enough, I could have just bought a one bedroom flat. Um, but because I really want to have children in the future, I really want to build a family, I'm gonna need probably like a three bedroom house or something. And if I'm being completely honest, I can't afford to buy a three bedroom house on my own. So I just felt like because my first move isn't gonna be to my forever home, it was just easier and just made more sense to me just to rent first. I um, could be wrong, but I just felt like it was a bit of a palaver to sort of buy a one bed flat and then, you know, pay all those fees on top of it to actually buy a house. Like there's so many hidden fees. And then when you wanna sell somewhere, you know, the like you could lose out of money because the value of the place goes down or whatever and then you have to again pay all those fees for a solicitor and for whatever else you have to pay to actually sell your house like there's so much I just felt like I didn't want to go through that so I think that's the main reason why I decided to rent instead of to buy um, just because if I were to buy by myself I would have only been able to afford like a studio flat and I just didn't see the point in that you know I just want to continue to save so that the first property that I buy is my forever home and that is big enough to you know build a family in and I know that a lot of people do say that once you rent it is impossible to buy um, but as I have said I have been saving for a few years so I'm hoping that I can still you know keep some of that savings aside so that um, when I am ready to buy a house hopefully with Michael um, when we're ready to buy together um, hopefully we'll still be able to do it and I'll still be able to save you know obviously I'm not going to be able to save as much as what I would if I was still living with my parents but I'm hoping that I can still save and eventually you know um, get that dream house um, and achieve that goal of buying um, a family home. So kind of tying in with what I just spoke about, another really um, common question that I've got is, why didn't you move in with Michael? Um, so a lot of people have been asking like, why didn't you just move into Michael's flat? Or why didn't he move into this flat? Or why didn't you just get a whole completely different flat together? So I haven't really spoken about this on YouTube, but this is actually super exciting. Um, but the plan is, is that Michael is eventually going to move into this flat with me, which I am so excited about. So obviously Michael and I have been dating now for almost two years and we have obviously spoken about, um, where we're gonna live when we eventually move in together um, because if you don't know Michael who's my boyfriend he lives um, like 150 miles away from me so literally like over a three hour drive away from me um, so obviously we've had the tough decision of where are we gonna live so Michael has decided that he would love to actually live in Inverness which is where I live um, and he is like so far moving here which is so exciting that actually reminds me that is another reason why I um, decided to rent instead of to buy is because like I said Michael lives 150 miles away so can you imagine if this flat that I'm living in right now I bought instead of rented and say Michael was to move in with me and he absolutely hated it here like he felt so homesick he hated Inverness he just wanted to move back to where he lives um can you imagine if I had literally just bought this place and I had to sell it again like it's just not worth the hassle and also I think like because we're in a long distance relationship I think it's very sensible to rent together first than to buy um you know everyone is completely different so if you and your boyfriend buy a house before renting I'm not judging you like everyone is so different and um different things work for different people but I think like more because it's a long distance relationship um I just think it was too risky to buy together yet I think we need to experience living together because we're gonna go from seeing each other once every fortnight to literally living together 24 7 being around each other all the time it's going to be a massive difference and so i think like renting just makes more sense to make sure you know that this works um you know because some people move in together and they actually cannot stand each other um which i'm hoping you know isn't the case i do 
hope and believe that we're gonna love living together but you just never know um so that is also another reason why i decided to rent instead of to buy so a lot of you are probably wondering like why didn't michael move in with you straight away like why are you living on your own so right now you know it is my flat i'm paying all the rent i've bought everything in here so it is my flat right now he hasn't moved in um but when he does move in, you know, it'll be our flat and everything will be halved, you know, the rent and all the bills we will share. So Michael hasn't moved in yet just because he obviously has his own commitments and his own responsibilities. Um, as a lot of you guys will know, he's currently renting a flat. So um, he needs to like let them know that he's leaving there and give his notice or whatever. Um, he also needs to find a job over here, which I think is the main thing. So he doesn't want to move here without having a job because then he's got no income coming in. So I think it'll do us good that I have this place now um, because, you know, Michael can start applying for jobs and whenever he has an interview, he can literally travel over here. He's got this place to stay um, so that he can go to as many job interviews as he wants. So yeah, he's got to find a job here before he leaves his job where he stays um, because if not he's not gonna have any income so basically as soon as he's like sorts out everything back at his end and finds a job here he can move in with me which I'm so so excited about um, but I'm actually kind of glad that I've got like this time to myself as well because I think it's pretty cool to experience living alone and um, you know I hope that Michael and I will literally be together for the rest of our lives so I'm never gonna have that opportunity again to experience living alone so it's kind of cool that I get to do that for however many months before he moves in because um, then I get to experience everything in life I get to experience living with my parents living on my own living with my boyfriend and yeah the plan is for us to live here for a good few years and then save to buy a house for whenever we want to start a family together and it will definitely be easier to afford um, to buy a bigger house you know with the two of us rather than if I was just trying to do it on my own. It was just too much. <laughs> Is it difficult to motivate yourself when it's just you living on your own? Um, no, I actually find that I am way more motivated when I'm on my own. As much as I loved living with my family, um, there was just always so many distractions around. Um, but whereas when I live on my own, I you know obviously I go to work every day but I've just been finding that I'm so much more productive and motivated um, because I come home you know I do my cooking my cleaning um, I'm just like always doing something and I'm so motivated to film videos and to edit I think it's just because I work better on my own I'm the same in like my day job I always work better on my own rather than a team I don't know why I mean I can do both but um, I am a person that actually loves to be on their own um, and that actually ties in with another question um, people were asking like do I get lonely um, isn't it boring living by yourself since living on my own I haven't felt bored or lonely once um, and I think that because like I'm such a family person I think like a lot of people watching these videos like would assume that I would struggle living on my own which I can totally see why but um, I'm actually one of those people that really enjoys their own company um, like as much as I love being around my family and stuff um, quite a lot of the time when I came home from work I would literally go to my room and edit and just be on my own um, but obviously you know make time for family as well but I'm one of those people that's very you know content on their own. I love being around people if it's like my select few people like I love being around my mum and my dad and my siblings and I love being around um, Michael but like anyone else now I just I just love being in my own little bubble like I enjoy my own time as well I'm very content on my own I never get bored I always find something to do and I've just really been enjoying just having my own space but I don't want that to come across as like oh I'm so glad I moved out like I'm rid of my family no it's not like that I loved living at home I loved being around my family um but I had a lot of like my own time even when I lived at home um I'm just one of those people that I, I don't need to be around people all the time um I am very happy to just you know be on my lonesome <laughs> there's another question that was like did you move because your room was needed as a playroom slash nursery for Lola literally guys my parents have said 
for so long that I am more than welcome to stay at theirs, to live at theirs until I'm 50 years of age. Like my parents are not the sort of parents that are like, okay, you're this age, you need to get moving out. Like my parents literally wanted me to stay. Um, so I just want to clarify that my parents did not push me to move out. It was all like, my decision i made this decision on my own i wasn't pushed out they weren't like oh we need space you need to move out um they weren't like oh you're getting too old to live here my parents actually didn't want me to go you know <laughs> which leads on to this question which was how did your parents react when you told them that you were moving out um it wasn't like a one day i just turned around and said oh i'm moving out like i say it was something i spoke about for the last few years so it wasn't unexpected um, when I told them that I had a flat viewing because I was very open with them throughout the whole thing that I was um, you know saving and then I was looking and you know my mum especially was very involved in the process of me looking for somewhere and um, yeah like they weren't shocked at all because like I say I was just open with them the whole time um, so they knew it was coming um, but I think like when I actually got the flat um, I think they were upset <laughs> which is understandable because um, you know their little baby was leaving leaving the nest, flying the nest or whatever the saying is. I think it's just natural that whenever any of your children leave home, you know, you're gonna get upset, you're gonna worry about them. Like it doesn't matter if they're 18 or they leave at 32, you're still gonna worry about them. But I'm only like a 10 minute drive from my parents' house and they're always just like a phone call away. Um, so I think like the day that I moved out, yes, it was emotional. Like my mum especially, she was like, oh, you know, it's it's not too late to turn back, you don't have to go. Um, but I think like never moved out. Like she sees that it's not really that big a deal. You know, um, I still talk to her pretty much every day. And to be honest, she's probably enjoying the peace and quiet now. And um, she's probably loving having a spare bedroom. <laughs> this was another question that I got asked so much and I was so surprised by it. Um, but people were asking, why I moved my room from my mum and dad's house to this house instead of just keeping my bedroom at home. But I don't know if like, I'm just weird or something, but I just don't see the point in doing that. Like I am literally never going to stay over at my mum's house ever again because I live here. Like I just don't see the point. I guess like if I had moved far away and I, you know, would be coming back to stay, but because I live like 10 minutes down the road, like why would I stay over at my mom's house? I just, I don't see the point in it. Um, and a lot of people ask that. So I guess that's um, like really common for people to do. Like I'd understand if I was moving to where Michael lived because that's far away, um, then maybe like keeping my room at my mom and dad's house because I'd come back and stay for longer periods of times because I lived further away and wouldn't see them very much. So I would come back, you know, for their birthday or whatever, or for Christmas or whatever. Um, but no, I did not see the point in leaving my bed and everything at my mom's house because I wouldn't use it. I'm never going to stay there like ever again. I just wouldn't see the point, you know? If like say one day I were to pop over to dinner at my mom's house whenever that's allowed again, um, like I would just drive back home. There would just be no point in me staying over or else there would have been no point in me moving out. I don't know. I just have a different view on that, I guess to a lot of people. A lot of people are asking if I feel scared living alone. And um, again, no, like I actually have really surprised myself. Like as soon as I stepped into this house, it felt like home. I didn't feel lonely. I didn't feel scared. I didn't feel like homesick. But yeah, I've never felt scared living here. Um, I think it's because I'm very lucky where I live. Like it's a really nice quiet area. It just feels very safe. So I definitely think that the area you live in um, really helps make you feel safe um, because there have been times where say I've stayed in a hotel somewhere like by myself and I felt a bit scared and it's because the area isn't the best um, and you know that does sort of put you on edge so it's normal to feel scared um, in those circumstances but definitely like when you're looking to move out definitely look at the area um, and make sure that it's somewhere you're going to feel safe and secure because that is so so important and I'm so glad that um, that's how I feel 
when living here because that is um, really important. You don't want to be scared in your own home because if not, it's not going to feel like home. Home is supposed to be somewhere where you do feel safe and secure and you don't have to worry. Um, so area is definitely one of the big things you need to look at when you are um, planning on moving somewhere. Did your parents help you with the move financially? Love the new place, by the way. Um, definitely not. I have done absolutely everything by myself. I am actually a very independent person, which I know a lot of people don't think I am. Um, I guess it's because, like, you know, I guess, like, when I lived at home, um, my mum did do a lot for me. Like, she did do, like, all the cooking and all the cleaning and all the ironing but it's just because like my mum has her particular ways and she likes to do things herself um but now like that i live on my own i am a very independent person like i can do all those things for myself like i could do them when i was at home but um you know my mum she's motherly and she likes to look after us but yeah rent bills like everything all the furniture has been bought by me. Um, I like to do things by myself. I would never expect anything from my parents. Um, I have always been independent in that way where, you know, I've made my own money since I was 16. And, um, you know, I buy things for myself. Of course, my parents have bought me gifts for moving in, like this beautiful plant, isn't it gorgeous? Um, but no, everything, Financially, I have done myself and I always have done um, because I just wouldn't expect anything from my parents anyways. I'm just very independent in that sense of things. Um, and the way I see it is like, if I want anything in life, I get it myself, you know, I'm not gonna, I'd never ask anyone for anything or I'd never expect anything from anyone. Um, and you know, I don't have rich parents. If you have rich parents, then I'm sure they'd be like, yeah, here's a house, but, um, you know, no. <laughs> so I'm gonna end this Q&A here because my battery is flashing and I've also rambled for the longest time ever, like I always do. But I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I really hope that this has been um, informative and that I've answered all of the main questions that you guys were asking. I think I have managed to answer um, the most like frequently asked ones. Um, so make sure you are subscribed to my vlogging channel to check out all of my um, moving vlogs and like houseware vlogs and all the vlogs I'm filming in my new place. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys again in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!